This introduction to IO Docs will show you the essential setup to set up interactive documentation for the APIs created during the previous video guides. We can make the APIs available to developers to test out in the portal. To do this, we need to set up the IO Docs definition. IO Docs doesn't change the way APIs work. It just sets up the interactive user interface along with some implementation details to be able to call the API. We go to IO Docs on the design menu. This shows a list of all the defined APIs under management. For APIs that have no IO Doc definition, there will be no modification date. Let's click on Acme API. What you see here is the default IO Doc template based on the API definition. At the top of the screen, we have the option to import a pre existing IDOC or a SOAP service to generate the IDOC from the service WSDL. In the definition, you will see both the resource endpoints and methods defined in the API spec. Now, let's replace the template with a completed definition. In this completed definition, you will see descriptive elements that provide documentation about the API and what it does. At the top is some technical information that is required. The API protocol, the implementation base path, and the authentication details. Below, we have definitions for the resource endpoints. For each API method we will expose, there is descriptive information about the API and technical information like the path and any required parameters. When viewed in the portal, we can see the API descriptions from the IO doc definition, along with the two exposed methods and the required parameters. We can invoke the APIs and the results are displayed.